In this video, we'll cache, download, archive, and restore a Fusion 360 project. After completing this step, you'll be able to set up a project to be backed up locally, use archive on an old project, and restore an archived project. In Fusion 360, we want to get started by expanding the data panel and taking a look at our project. Inside of here, we have several designs that we've already uploaded, and if we select one, right-click, we have the option to add to offline cache. We can also take a look at the settings for the project, and we can cache this project. When we do that, what we're doing is we're creating an offline repository of the designs. Since Fusion 360 data is saved in the cloud, this means that you're automatically connected to it when you have an internet connection. However, if you lose your internet connection when you have a file open, you can continue to work with it, make saves, and as soon as the connection is restored, it'll upload it and it'll restore the connection between the saved design on the cloud. If you want to make sure that you always have access to a design, you want to make sure that you use that cache this project. You can also view the offline cache and take a look at what designs are already cached. If you want to cache individual designs, you can always select them, right click and add to offline cache, and it'll push that, make sure that you always have that saved version. Now that we understand how to set up and utilize the offline cache, let's talk about archiving and restoring projects. If we go back to the home or project list in the data panel, let's say that we decided that we didn't want this intro to design for manufacture project anymore. We can right click on it and we can archive this project. When we do this, we no longer have access to it. It'll cut all ties to any external links that we have and if we select Archive, it'll no longer be displayed inside of our project list. But don't worry because all of our work is not gone. We can expand the hubs that we have access to, and we can take a look at our hub on the web. When we take a look at the admin settings, we can take a look at our projects, specifically looking for projects that are archived. What we want to do is we want to search for the project by name, and you'll notice that Intro to Design for Manufacture is grayed out because it's archived. The status is archived, but we can restore it or transfer it to another hub. In this case, I'm going to restore the project, bringing it back. If I go back into Fusion 360 and I restore and refresh my data panel, I should see that my project does come back. I simply need to search for it and then repin it. You can also use the search looking for 21 intro, and it'll search for data inside of your data panel that matches that criteria. For us, I'm gonna go back to the top level. Once we refresh the data panel, you'll notice that our intro to design for manufacture is back, including the subfolder and all the data. You'll notice that the data looks a little different, and that's simply because we need to open it and update all the links that we have. As soon as we open one of the designs, you'll notice that the preview looks as it should. Whenever you're working in your projects, it's always a good idea to be aware of the options you have for archiving, caching, and restoring projects. Once a project is archived, you do have the option to delete it from the admin settings inside of your team hub on the web. But keep in mind that the archived projects can be restored, but once they're deleted, they will be gone forever. From here, it's a good idea to go ahead and open up any designs you want to work with, always making sure that you save often, and once you're done, go ahead and move on to the next step.